Good afternoon. Welcome to Tea Time with Emerging Markets. Today we have Brazil and the operation Lava Jato car wash, the tremendous corruption scandal. We have one of the person that was behind, one of the prosecutors that was uh, part of this uh, tremendous corruption uh, uh, scandal that wa was the one that was trying to clean the situation. So, uh, but first I'll introduce you to Fuad, who is a student at the LLM here at Cornell and will introduce Sergio and also will ask the questions. And then we have also Kelly with us. Thank you, Professor. Uh, so Sergio, you've been a public prosecutor in Brazil and you've worked for the past four years on uh, Operation Car Wash, Lava Jato. And uh, before that also you've been in the public sector in Brazil for 20 years. So what's your take on the whole uh, operation of Car Wash and the whole corruption issue? Okay, uh, Car Wash is not only a criminal case. You cannot see it uh, as a criminal case, but more I would say a uh, sociologic uh, fact that Brazil must to go through it. I think uh, because car wash shake it uh, Brazil economically, socially, politically, so it's it's much it's much more than a criminal case, a corruption case. It's something that Brazil needed to to pass through to in order to to get to to take a step further. Uh, in order to uh, to be a better country uh, with more justice without inequality I think that's why the importance of car wash and how do you see that advancing are you about the future of Brazil for example and is that gonna end anytime soon what are your views on it are you optimistic pessimistic or I am always optimistic guy despite my age mm -hmm. yeah. people say that so we, we get Older, we, we tend to be pessimistic, but I'm, I'm always optimistic. Uh, despite the fact that I'm not very optimistic with this new government, because I think I, I can see uh, a lot of problems already. But uh, I think Brazil, it's a phase. I, th I think Brazil will, will get through it. And, but it takes time. It's not, Brazil is a young country. I think it's no, nothing. The, the important things does not happen in uh, in instantaneously out of, out of blue suddenly we need we need to, we need time the, the, the good things in life uh, need time to, to so I'm optimistic about the the renewal of the political uh, actors I think Congress already uh, has a lot of uh, interesting figures not only in Brazil but I think in here in the US you have different Congress women very interesting ones I think in Brazil the same I can point out for example uh, last week I was watching an interview of a young girl her name I, I don't for, I forgot the name her name I will remember but he, she is a very she was she came from a pro, poor family very poor family his his father used to drive a bus, and she could came to U.S. and studying at Harvard. Now she's a congresswoman. That that's why I am optimistic. When I see uh, histories like that, I am I I, I must be opt optimistic. You know? If we look at the positive and the negatives of car wash, in the event that we just had at the law school organized by Fuad and Kelly. You said many, opti many uh, positive things that happened in these five years of car wash. What do you think are the positives of this uh, operation? The, the positive things, I think, car wash showed to the Brazilian society that it's possible to put the powerful behind bars. When, before that, when you, you don't see it happen, you cannot picture this happening in the future. But once you have uh, a precedent like that, everything is possible. So I think that's more than uh, individual case. I, f I, would, I would point out that the possibility that the Brazilians see the powerful, many tycoons, many businessmen, many that too big to be punished, they are 
already punished. That's the the upside. The downside, I would say that it's uh, the business environment. It's so uh, broken. That's that's not good for Petrobras. It was awful. It's a very good uh, company with a marvelous body of technicals, engineers. So I think that's the downside. But I think, as in many diseases, it's necess it was necessary. Okay, maybe Kelly, you are a young professional uh, studying here in Cornell, and then at some point uh, going back. And who cares about your country? So again, maybe your question is the same question. What do you think was positive for you as a bystander, and the negative of the car wash? Um, I agree 100% with uh, what Sergio just said. Um, as a citizen, I think we needed to have that message that um, if you do something wrong, you can go and pay for it, so however you have to pay for it, um, regardless of who you are. It doesn't matter who you are, the law applies to every single person in the country. Um, and that's something that we needed. I grew up during my teens seeing um, corruption scandals, not as big as Lava Jato, but seeing um, corruption in the news and nothing happens. And now we see something happening. So I think that's a very important message for us as citizens. Mm. Um, on the downside, as a lawyer, <laughs> as a corporate lawyer, <laughs> um, we did go through some rough times in, in the business side. But I think we are starting to um, gain confidence again and, and the, the business sector is slowly starting to improve again. Mm -hmm. um, after five years we've, we've, we've gone through a rough time, but um, I personally believe that to, to, get, to, um, to get high we need to, to, to do a hard, the hard work first. Uh -huh. so, so that's my, my view. And Fuad, you were in the event, you were organizer of the event, you love Latin America, so, yes. and uh, we, you have heard both of us speaking, yeah. Prosecutor Fernandez and myself, so what is your take? I, I think it's something marvelous that has happened in Brazil, I mean, I come from Lebanon, which is an equally corrupt country, and, uh, and, I can, and throughout the Middle East I can see the difference, how nothing is being done there, while in Brazil and all over Latin America something was done so that by itself I think is a major achievement so I'm just um, now I follow it politically and uh, I would like to see you know whatever the left has done and the pink tide over Latin America remain and hopefully get strong but yeah. so uh, uh, prosecutor Fernandez you are going to go back to Brazil so what do you think should be the main tasks looking forward uh, in Lava Jato in, in a society? What do you think should be done now? Because the, the scandals continue. This week we had uh, uh, one secretary of the, of the current government uh, having to resign, former uh, close uh, collaborators of former President Temer. So this continues and of course the tragedy of Bali that is not uh, linked to Lava Jato, although Valley was linked to Lava Jato, but it's not linked to Lava Jato, but of course it's again a case that can be also corruption. So, what do you think it should be the main tasks looking forward? The to-do list, the ideal to-do okay. list. <laughs> uh, first, I think Karwash uh, should, must be, must go on, must be, uh, remain working and do the job. I think they, they, they have been doing a great job, and but I, I'm very important uh, point that I think we should highlight is that we don't need to to trade off corruption for other things. We can have a, a honest country without corruption, but even though uh, preserve the human rights, the free press. The, uh, because the great uh, quality of Brazil is because it is a very uh, plural country. We don't have uh, hate crimes. We don't have uh, majors, uh, 
uh, natural disasters, we are very lucky as a country. So I have, we need to uh, improve the, com the corruption fighting, but without uh, making a trade-off with another things like demonize the press and say that press is the enemy of enemy of people, which that is very dangerous because we only reach this level of in with Lava Jato because we have a free press. So it worried it worried when worried me when I see uh, authorities uh, saying that the press is the enemy of people because this is very dangerous. So you would like to uh, continue the Lava Jato, but uh, do we need at some point to be able uh, to move on? So I, uh, my country suffered a civil war long, long ago. We had a dictatorship. At some point, we decided as a society, let's move on. It's not easy, but should Brazil move on and how? And maybe again, I'll start with the young voice here. <laughs> I think that a good way to um, to move on is something that might have um, started happening already um, because the image of those greatest largest companies in Brazil got really um, damaged some smaller companies started mm -hmm. getting more um, jobs actually more, more, more work to do in the market work that before that was only basically or mainly done by those um, largest companies. Mm -hmm. So that is something that might be a way to move on. Um, and also I think we need to, to, to take this as a lesson. So this happened, this is still happening and we are changing it. So I think that as citizens also, as, as business people, as lawyers, we should um, change our attitude. So if if business was done in that way um, with bribes or, or however they did it, I mean, let's just not accept that anymore. And at some point we will move on and not do it that way anymore. Also, uh, I would like to re to remind that it's a car wash has an interesting aspect. Usually in a, car, a case like, like that, you uh, prosecutors and defendants fight trying to prove their sides but in car wash because we have we had so many plea agreements uh, it's a different way to handle and I think help to move on because uh, companies like Odebrecht the big ones Odebrecht and Drago Gutierrez mm -hmm. they uh, settle agreements that where they they need to accomplish some new rules and I think this actually should be true. I think a lot of executives uh, are thinking differently and mm. want to uh, adopt a new way to make business. I, I, truly, uh, I truly believe in that. Mm -hmm. Maybe for what also? <laughs> Even from outside, what do you think about uh, how should Brazil move on? Brazil ha has uh, still a lot of work, prosecutor and they said a lot of work to do uh, so well I agree with him I think it should continue the, the investigation I mean justice has to be made and uh, the truth has to come out plus uh, a lot of people have you know I mean it created some sort of inequality it made some people I know super powerful to the I mean that they became unbreakable I think that's why it should continue to break that but what about you, Professor? What do you <laughs> think? I mean, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I, of course, I congratulate everybody who fought for for against corruption. Corruption is a is a systemic problem. Societies cannot work with this uh, level of corruption, and, and definitely Brazil has made a tremendous effort. For me as well, uh, as uh, as I as a business school uh, faculty. Of course, the part of the damage done to the uh, Brazilian private sector is, is worries me, and and for me uh, there is a need somehow to move on. Uh, how, who, when remains to be seen, and because you need a tremendous consensus in society that is not there yet. So, but something has to be. 
to say to for the society to again focus on rebuilding trust on on companies have to focus on on the cha challenges of today fourth industrial revolution uh, um, it uh, of course uh, ai artificial intelligence uh, brazil has tremendous talent has to put the talent to work and otherwise the, the, the years will be everybody's kind of frozen everybody's stuck in this uh, tremendous uh, uh, and tremendous um, how do you say a tremendous uh, um, situation in which you need to of course solve the question of the corruption but again with the idea to move on to move to the main challenges of society uh, and brazil has to recover the place it deserves in the world in the economy in the business and of course in society Brazil needs the world, but the world needs Brazil as well. So the world is a better place because Brazilians have been so many great negotiators in the WTO, in, in so many instances, in diplomacy, etc. So it has to recover the, the leader of emerging markets that it was. Needs to recover. So thank you so much uh, for organizing the event. We just had a tremendous conversation uh, of a problem that is still going on, that is not finished. We had news this week in relation with that. Um, again, uh, for Prosecutor Fernandez, a tremendous hero for everything he has done and he will keep on doing. And, and again, uh, Brazil showing the leadership in the world in fighting corruption, as you were saying, Fuad, and the hope that Kelly has brought that definitely uh, Brazil needs and will have a brighter future the day after. Thank you so much.